Hi everyone, welcome to Eden's Secret. Today's soap is inspired by a branded packaging box from Juvederm. I was on Instagram and just scrolling through as you do. Um, and this Juvederm box popped up. And this is one of those colours I've actually never done but every time I see this colour um, I keep I always say to myself I'm gonna make a soap that colour I'm gonna make a soap that colour I'm gonna make a soap that colour and I've been doing that for years with this colour so just before we blend here's a picture of that Juvederm box So the first thing we need to do is mix up some of that colour and the colour I think that's nearest to that, that colour is uh, fluorescent purple or neon purple from Mineral Makeup Ingredients. You'll be able to get this anywhere around the world, seems like every single micro company. There are two that I know that don't do the fluorescents. Um, but they all seem to do the neons. Now, I need to darken it up uh, to get that colour of the box, but the swirl is a bit lighter. So I'm going to mix this up, and I was thinking to add some purple to it to darken it, Blackberry Mica from Mica Mama. But I thought it'd probably just be better to put a little bit of black in until I get the correct colour combination going on. So I'm going to make quite a lot. I'll probably put too much in there actually. Because basically all of the batch is going to be coloured. So I'm just using a frother here to get this blended properly and fully into the oil. I've just got it on number one because it's got three speeds. And as you look at the colour, you can see that it's it is the exact colour. Now I'm gonna be using La Belle from Oasis Oils. But I don't know if it makes you soap see, so I'm just going to do a tester in here first. I like to put quite a lot of the fragrance in. When I'm testing it, so, you know, if, if I put a lot in and it doesn't move fast, then we're in luck. I read the reviews on it and it seemed like there's no discoloration with this fragrance in soap so that's fantastic news but nobody's written whether it accelerates or not it's looking good so far So while that's doing its thing, let's get the colour mixed in. Good, so we didn't need too much of the colour. Definitely made enough and got some left over.
so it's definitely the right colour, it's just not the right shade. So I'm going to check back and see how we're doing. Oh, look at that. No acceleration yet. So I think we're going to have plenty of time. I mean, there is, a, is some acceleration, but it's nothing crazy. It's a very, very popular fragrance, this one. Another couple of minutes and we're still looking good. Still loose enough. So I'm pretty sure I can now... It's crazy. Sometimes you do these things and, and it works okay in this little pot and then you do it in the full batch and it's it goes wrong. So let's hope it doesn't go wrong. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the fragrance, blend that in, then I'm going to separate just a little bit of the uh, soap batter off and then I'm going to darken what's left in the container and probably just do a little in the pot swirl before I pour it into the loaf moulds. Just done 1.1 kilos there for the swell. Now we're going to add some black to this. Aha, look at that. Oh, I think it's spot on. I always feel like I want to put more in, but. I'm just looking at the box and that looks pretty. Right, time for an in the pot swell. But before we do that, we need to scrape all this off the side because there's some unmixed soap batter there. So yeah, reading the re reviews on this fragrance, it says seems like everybody's saying it's their best selling smell. So it's not one that I've ever carried, so I don't really know. But we'll find out this year. I love these spatulas because you can get every little drop of soap batter out of your container, especially when it's got it's got that rounded bottom in there. Right, time to pour. I wonder how I've managed without clips on my soap all these years now. I guess I didn't, I just, what happened was I kept making over pouring, didn't I? So what I've got left, I'm just going to lightly drizzle over the top like I did with the blue one we did.
mare Mas não venha me pedir Pra andar de ré Pois é Ah, eu cresci no gueto Eu cresci com preto Não é você Okay, this is one of the loaves unmolded. I was thinking it's probably got a bit of discoloration, but when I've taken it out of the mold, the bottom is still purple. Um, so let's cut into it and see what we've got. So I was a bit disappointed when I saw that coloration, discoloration after reading the, the reviews on the fragrance, how it said it didn't discolor. But I think it is going to discolour a little bit. I was expecting a bit of a, a discoloration tinge all the way around the outside but we haven't really got one but the colour is exactly what I wanted that's for sure so we're going to put some decoration on this like we did with the angel soap the other day uh, but we're going to do something, just a different design to what we did there. It's gorgeous. Okay, here we are. So I've got some soap dough in this lovely shade of pink, which I think is, uh, and I've got a stencil here as well. Now I'm going to, not going to use the whole stencil because obviously the stencil's too big for the piece of soap. So I'm just going to turn it this way because that's the way on I'm working. So I'm just going to use this corner part here and just pop the stencil on there. Now with the finer detail the stencils don't work as well. It It's so fine that the soap just tends to stick in position onto the stencil and it just won't go through onto the soap. At least I can't get it to go through. So I'm just taking these four pieces here, two roses and two leaves and with this lovely soft door, soap door just scrape it over like so 
there's definitely a knack to doing the soap door and you do just want to scrape a nice thin amount over the design and press it down so that it sticks onto the soap below I've just cut the soap so the soap slices have just been cut so it's still soft uh, and the soft sticking to the soft uh, makes it stick better but I've actually done this on a on a, an old piece of soap a hard piece of soap just to practice and um, it it worked okay like except for the finer de detail in the stencil which we could lose here as well um, it has stuck so if you had some old soap bars that you wanted to tidy up or make them look a little prettier uh, you can still stencil on them even though they've been cut and made for months but I think it will work better obviously if you've just cut the soap so I'm just taking a flat bladed scalpel or a flat bladed knife will work perfectly fine as well and I'm just gently scraping it off I'm not pressing on hard at all but you do need to try and get all of that leftover soap door so you can see the stencil it will unmold much better if you haven't got too much soap left sticking to the stencil but you've got to be careful that you don't actually peel off the decoration that you've pushed through the holes in the stencil so I've found the best way for unmoulding for me is to rub your finger backwards and forwards like this as you're peeling it off. So that's what I'm I'm just going to press all of those down again. Bound to lose some, especially this very fine detail here. Uh, but you still get the idea and you still get a lovely design in there so just backwards and forwards like this just gently oozing that stencil off there and then go back and just press down the design and you end up with just a lovely subtle um, rose design on these soap slices so I hope you think that's really pretty I do um, and honestly I think this fragrance is outstanding uh, I can see why it is a bestseller all over the world
I was thinking, what shall we call this beautiful soap? The fragrance is similar in style and identity to um, La Vie Estebelle. So I actually thought I would call it uh, Bella Vita, meaning beautiful life. Um, hope you think that's a good name. And it'll be available on the website very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching. As usual, I will be back very soon with another video from Eden Secret. Let me know what you think down in the comments below the video because I do read all of them. So, bye bye for now.